Hello viewers, this is Team Food Panda. Uh, we are going to show the PSD2 HTML conversion today in this uh, tutorial. So, freelancers and uh, professionals who are related in this um, sector will commonly known this procedure as PSD2 HTML, which is a very common phenomenon in these days. So, to before you begin, we are going to show you some requisites or requirements to start the tutorial. We are going to use HTML boilerplate, CSS and bootstrap to build a web page from PSD file extension or uh, Adobe Photoshop file. So for that, uh, we need to download the PSD file which is a uh, Developed by Michael Raymer from Best PhD Free Buys. We have also mentioned the download link here, so you can go there and uh, download the PhD file. We have uh, already opened the file here. That is the PhD file we are going to use in this uh, tutorial. And the download link or the download bar is here. From here, we will download the PhD file. Next. We are going to use boilerplate, so the boilerplate download link we have mentioned or given here, which you will uh, find in the tutorial description panel. So that's the page where you can find the boilerplate and uh, the boilerplate download link. You can see I have already downloaded the uh, zip file and uh, extracted in our system. That is the boilerplate. Uh, folder or the downloaded zip file after uh, unzip it you will find these uh, files over here over your system then we need we're going to need uh, bootstrap files to download bootstrap file we need to go to this track address and uh, this is the web page of bootstrap from here, we will download the bootstrap uh, compiled file with the uh, CSSG uh, JavaScript and fonts. So after download it, you will uh, get set of uh, files like this, which contains uh, CSS, fonts, and JS. Three folders will be here. And from CSS folder, we need to copy this bootstrap.main.css to our boilerplate CSS folder that is uh, here and uh, we have already copied it as a bootstrap.min.css as you can see then if you are coming back to the page uh, PSD file we will uh, find some uh, font or some icons that you can use like this uh, windows icon Android and uh, Apple icon and also some icons like this one and it is editable theme that design or reach your audience uh, that uh, icons actually used above uh, the writings so to install font or some you need to go font or some uh, download link that is uh, here so we are going to uh, font or some website that is uh, fontosun.io from here uh, there is a download bar on the uh, home page so we will going to download from here to start this uh, project we have uh, which uh, we have already downloaded and uh, after extracting the fontosun uh, zip file you will get a file and folder like this so from fontosun um, and directory will get uh, first of all the font of some dot mean dot CSS to our uh, boilerplate uh, CSS folder and copied it as well here as uh, you can see it is uh, we have already copied and also the font folder which contains the fonts here we will copy it and uh, paste it over our boilerplate uh, folder that is uh, you can see this fonts we have already copied here 
so these are the uh, required files to download it from uh, internet to uh, initiate or start the php html conversion we are using brackets as text editor to edit the text as we can see we have already as uh, used color plates so we'll get a um, predefined or pre-edited uh, format or template as index file which we have opened from the project folder this is the index file we have opened in the bracket and uh, we are going to link up the bootstrap control some CSS files into our uh, index file so that they can work in here so now we are going to link up the uh, CSS for, uh, files in our index file So by this we have uh, linked up with our uh, main index file the CSS uh, files you know, which are located in our CSS folder and also at the end of the uh, linking up with the bootstrap and font awesome we have uh, linked up the native CSS file that is style.css uh, located in the same boilerplate or the project files folder to learn and understand this tutorial, uh, everyone can do, which uh, requires some basic ideas on HTML, CSS, and Bootstrap code and font use. That we are using Font Awesome in this case, and also uh, we need some basic idea on Adobe Photoshop tools and environment. So how to use uh, Photoshop and uh, Photoshop various tools and uh, the environment of Photoshop, Adobe Photoshop, so that one can easily start this project without any hesitation so now we are going to open the PhD file in Adobe Photoshop and uh, we're going to show you so this is the PhD file we'll work on that is uh, called notify as you can see so from here we'll first select the move tool and then we'll uh, look out uh, in the toolbar that is auto select here as you can see we need to click it on and uh, also select a uh, layer from here yeah, these two thing must we need to remember and then we are going to use uh, history and uh, layers from secret uh, for our working advantage so from move tool which we will going to uh, use select the uh, layers as you know uh, website actually works as a row and column ways like this is a row this is a row this is, a row, this is one, another one and this is another row so total five rows as we can calculate from here and also there's column like this is one column this is another one there's two column we can say over here and uh, in this row there is one two three there are three columns over here in this row there are uh, two columns like this is one column this another one so uh, like this we can uh, count this way in a web page so before start so to start the HTML coding, uh, we need to get the image from the PhD file. So to do so, we are going to uh, select the layer. Like uh, there's a background you can see on the header portion. So we're going to select, and uh, the Photoshop layer will show the image or the background image at first glance. Like if we select here, there will be 
the image folder that is here the image file that is showing here and we can uh, select from here also so to take the background image just uh, click over here and uh, as you can see it has always selected the appropriate background image in the layer section and then then we are going to press alter and select on this uh, eye icon to hide all other images in this PSG file and select the uh, background image briefly so we are doing the same thing alter and click here and the other uh, background image or other images uh, disappeared as you can see but um, as you can see there is a iPhone image there is a hand image also in here which also is selected so we get those uh, uh, images from here like uh, there is a hand over here so we will get the hand picture of the iPhone and also there is a uh, image you remember over here in the iPhone which are display so we will get that image uh, from here so this is the uh, background or header options um, we have selected so from uh, here we are going to the image section and then trim and then, uh, no, small window come out and uh, after clicking on trim and we are going to click ok this will um, exclusively select the uh, trimmed options and then we are going to save in our folder from here file and then export then save for web legacy there is also we can remember the shortcut here because uh, we are working on a uh, adobe, adobe photoshop 200 15 version 2015 version sorry and uh, it differs from version to version so it's better to remember the shortcut key so we are clicking here and then uh, the save options uh, it will show you we have to remember one thing that is uh, the file size uh, that is mentioned over here it is a 386 kilobyte so uh, if you can uh, we need to minimize the file size so that the website uh, load and uh, refreshes quickly to do so uh, we have to uh, click here that is uh, the image quality bar and we are, uh, from here we are uh, selecting medium so as you can see the, the quality drops to 30 and the uh, file size goes to 56.02 kilobyte which is a very much smaller Another thing we have to remember that the file format uh, should be in JPG already you know, be selected. So from here we are, not, we are no more to work. So we are going to save. We are saving into our uh, project image folder. And then uh, we are going to check the file name and uh, there is a JPG. It's here as you can see. Uh, which uh, we must uh, need to keep in mind that it must be in JPG so the JPG extension should be there and then we are going to save so the file uh, actually saved the background image we have saved in there so from clicking on the history bar uh, history snippet and we are going to click again the main PSD file guys we are um, going to make another video and we will going to show the rest of the part in the uh, part 2 of this page uh, to html conversion hope uh, you will going to uh, watch the next one thank you